Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're coming back here now for part three, the final part of my makeup collection video series. All right guys, so we're gonna waste no time getting into this portion of the series. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this drawer. And this is my smaller eyeshadow palette drawer. As you can see, I've got an abundance of Wet n Wild. As a matter of fact, the majority of what you see in this drawer is Wet n Wild. So we'll go over here and start on this side. So these are all of my six pans and five pans from Wet n Wild. As you can see, I have a lot of both limited edition and regular line makeup palettes from them. So I've got these four right here. These are from a summer collection, I want to say maybe two years ago. I got Vegan Culture, California Roll, Embrace Obscurity, and Vinyl Collection. And then these obviously are all limited edition as well. I'm pretty sure these are from last year as well. So we've got Girls Just Want to Have Funs, The Gallery Next Door, Don't Be a Poser. Tunnel Vision is a newer palette that just came out. And then we also have I'm His Breezy, Melrose Face, The Naked Truth. This one's a really, really good everyday basic one. And then over here I've got Art in the Streets, and these are my Halloween palettes from them. The Fantasy Makers palettes, I have one, two, three, and four of those. And we'll go over here to the right now, and these are the three pans I have in my collection. We've got Lost My Wristband, The New Romantic, To Indio I Go Go. This one is the oldest one I have, and I only really have it just because it's more of a sentimental piece, because this is one of the first palettes I ever bought for myself, so I don't really use it, but I still keep it with these because I don't want to have it floating around when the rest of them are right here. This one's in Spoiled Brat. This is Plaid to the Bone, Velour Vixen. We've got I'm Getting Sunburned. This one doesn't have a name on it, but I'm pretty sure this is Walking on Eggshells. This is When Sparks Fly, Cool as a Cucumber, Knock on Wood, Buster Wrap, Rapper's Delight, Freestyle Wrap, and Bohemian Rhapsody. These last four were from a holiday collection about a year and a half ago. And if we go out back here, I've got this small Profusion palette that just sits back here. This is an LA Colors palette, and I have both of my Jessie's Girl palettes it's comfortably sat right back here. And if we go over here, I've got all my larger pans. So I've got Poster Child, Comfort Zone, Petal Pusher, and Fala La La La. Over here, again, some limited edition palettes from them. I've got Temporary Solutions, Boardwalk Boozing, and High Flying Colors. And if we go back here, I've got the Fergie palettes. So these are the limited edition Fergie palettes. I have all of those as you sit right there. And then over here, I've got these two really long palettes. This one's in Coming in Latte. And this other one is from the Fergie collection. This is Paris Runway. And then if we go back here, I've got some other random little small palettes. So I've got this one I made at Sally's Beauty Supply. These two are from Essence. I've got the All About Nudes palette and the All About Chocolates palette. This one is a small NYC one. This one's a Maybelline one. Over here is all LA color. This last one is also from Maybelline as well. That just sits right in here. And then if we go over here, I've got my smaller but longer palettes. So I've got this one from Hard Candy. This one's from Tarte. This is an e.l.f. quad that I made. This one's from Coastal Sense. And then this one is from Shop Misse. And then my two back here are both from e.l.f. These are the e.l.f baked eyeshadow palettes. This last drawer right here, I can't get it to open any further because everything on top of it is so heavy. So I think I'm gonna have to rearrange the drawer so that the heaviest stuff is in the bottom, but it's my backup makeup drawer. Alrighty guys, so what you're looking at right now is my main lippy bar. This is the everyday lippies that I wear on an everyday basis. So we'll go ahead and start right over here. So in this section, I've got more of my higher end lippies. So up here, I've got three of these studded kiss lipsticks from Kat Von D. I've got four different MAC lipsticks sitting up front. This one is from Urban Decay. This is the Rocksteady collaboration with Gwen Stefani. These four right here are from Maybelline. These are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. This is a very special lipstick for me because this was given to me by the head of PR at Makeup Forever when I went and visited them at Generation Beauty. And then I have five of the Urban Decay Lip Junkies. I'm not a lip gloss person, but I absolutely love these so so much. And then back here is just a little benefit gloss that just sits right back there. And then if you go to the right once more, down the bottom here, I've got two of the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Liquid Lipsticks sitting up front there. And then these two right here are predominantly my drugstore lippies. So I've got everything from Milani to LA Girl to NYX to Maybelline to CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, you name it, I have it in this little section right here. So those are all housed right here. These two are from Ofra, but those are just randomly there because I have nowhere else for them. And then if you go back here, these are my ColourPop lippies sitting in my Harry Potter Butterbeer jug. And then I also have some more LA Girl matte liquid lipsticks that just sit in their own little container here. This one is from ColourPop. It wouldn't fit in here, so that just sits right there. And then out back here, I've got my lippy sticks and then two of my Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipsticks. This one is from DLS Beauty, and then these two are from Rimmel. 
And then if we make our way over here to this main shelf, I've got my even bigger palette sitting here. So up front I've got the Moon Dust palette, which to me has the most beautiful packaging ever. This is an empty matte case. I emptied out all my pigments into my drawer. Over here I've got the Riches Back palette by Benefit, and then back here is the Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Redux palette. I'm pretty sure it's volume 4 that just sits back here. And then if you go to my shelf, I've got the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow palette right up front. This is the BH Cosmetics 2nd Edition 120 color eyeshadow palette that sits right there. And then these three are all from BH Cosmetics. So I've got the Foil Eyes eyeshadow palette, I've got the Modern Mattes eyeshadow palette, and then the last one I have from BH Cosmetics is the Smoky Eyes eyeshadow palette and the very last palette in the very back is one from elf this is another sentimental product I've had this for a very long time I think it's really pretty I just don't use it as often but I really like the way it looks so it just sits right back there and then up here I've got all of my nail polishes I have a lot of nail polishes I'm not gonna go too far in depth with these but I'll give you guys a quick little overview of the ones I have and then up top are just some hair products that I use on an everyday basis alrighty guys so that is it for my makeup collection series I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the products seen in this video, please leave your requests down below. And again, if you guys want to see a ColourPop collection series, let me know that too down below. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and get it up for you guys. And I'll see you guys later. I love you guys so much. Bye.